In the dplyr library, you can use the summarize function to generate summary statistics for columns in your data set. In general, summary lets you apply any function to a column as long as it returns a single value. So we'll just show how to do some different summaries in this lesson. To start off with, we're just going to load the empty cars data set and show how to summarize a column showing its mean. So we're loading in the data. The first part of the summarize argument is the name of the new summary column you want to make. So we're going to call this summary average MPG. And then you set it equal to whatever function call you want to run. So in this case, we just want to take the average or mean of the MPG column. And what that's going to do when we run it is create a new data frame that's in this case an only one by one data frame because we only asked for a single summary value. You can run multiple summary operations at the same time. So we'll just show how to do that below. So for the second call, we're piping data to summarize. This time we're going to make a few different summaries. We're going to get the average of the MPG column, but then comma, we're going to do another summary. We'll also want the median of the MPG column. We're also going to get the average of the weight column, call that average weight, and the median of the weight column. So when we run this, we'll have four different summary statistics in four different columns. You can apply a function to every single column of a data frame with dplyr using the summarize all function. So in this case, instead of needing to pass in the name of the column, you can just pass a list of the functions that you want to run, and it will automatically give names to the columns for you. You can also pass in names if you want to, but let's just run this and see what happens. As you can see, we produced the mean of every single column and the names of the columns were just extracted from the names of the original columns. If we wanted to name these something different, we could have done that within this list here. So for instance, we could have said we wanted mean equals mean. And then when we run that, instead of just having the original column names, it's the original column names, but it also has this extra mean label that we attach to it. So that now, so far, we've only really showed how to use mean and median, which are functions you can apply to columns pretty easily using base R. There's actually built in things for column and row means, but there are some nice extra summary functions in the dplyr package itself that can be useful. So I'll just go through a couple of those. Um, the first and last functions let you extract the first and last records from a column. The n function gets the count of the column, and the n distinct function will get a count of the distinct or unique values in a column. So as just one final example of a summary, let's use one of these in our summary function. Let's use n distinct. So here we're just piping data to summarize again. We're going to call this unique cylinders because we're extracting the number of different unique cylinders. And we'll use n distinct on the cylinder column, and that will show us how many different cylinder configurations there are in this data set. We know that there's probably going to be three because cars generally have four, six, or eight cylinders. As expected, there are three different cylinder configurations for these cars. In this lesson, we learned how to summarize entire columns all at once, but sometimes it's useful to generate summary statistics and do other operations on subgroups within a data set. So in the next lesson, we'll learn how to do grouping in dplyr and how to generate summary statistics along some categorical variable that you want to group the data by. So see you in the next lesson.